Now, here in Germany, police have arrested seven alleged supporters of the so-called Islamic State. The anti-terrorism operation involved raids across 10 German states. The suspects taken into custody, four women and three men, are being investigated for being part of a network that sought donations for the Islamist terrorist group in Syria. The German Interior Minister Nancy Faeser says the operation was a success. This is a blow against the financing of Islamist terrorism. It shows that authorities are very vigilant. It is clear how important it is to also take actions against the financing networks. Especially looking at terrorist networks, you have to get to the sources of what is funding them. And we can get more from our political correspondent, Benjamin Alvarez Groover. Hi, Ben. Now, I know that you listened to the press conference by the uh, German interior minister. What else can you tell us? What did she say? She also mentioned two recent events where possible attacks were also botched and said how important it is to have these big operations to also be connected in not only the federal police but also with state police. This operation that happened earlier today with more than 1,000 police officers in raids, more than 100 objects in 10 states, as you mentioned it already. Most of them, most of the seven people that were detained are German nationals. There is a dual, a citizen dual national as well. German Moroccan, there's a Turkish citizen as well. And they have been accused now of financing this group. They had a telegram group that they opened in 2020, so three years ago. And they collected the money, they collected donations and then sent them over from those bank accounts to other IS members in Syria. So they will be now accused of financing this terrorist operation. So, so you've mentioned the nationalities of the seven people who've been arrested. Is there any other uh, information that we know about them? Not a lot. The investigations are still ongoing. We it's possible we can also expect uh, that there will now be hearings in the couple of days now. But it shows how big also the Islamist threat still is. Since uh, 2000, uh, Nancy Faeser, the German interior minister that we just heard there, said uh, that um, more than 21 possible Islamist attacks uh, were also prevented by the authorities. And what she just said there is that they're vigilant, that they will still continue working together and see where this international networks continue uh, to operate. Now they could detain the seven people, but we expect also that they will continue to see if there are other networks who are uh, not only possibly trying to join IS in Syria, but also supporting them with donations who had this telegram groups. And definitely the investigators will now continue uh, to look into this group to see if there were other members who were also involved with financing uh, Islamist terrorists there. So from what you're saying, the presence of IS in Germany is considerable. It is considerable. And that's also why investigators say this was a success. And that's what German Interior Minister and Nancy Faeser said. But this will possibly not be the last raid that will be conducted on IS members or supporters of this terrorist organization. So the Islamist threat is still considerable in Germany. And that's why they continue to cooperate together, not only in the different state where the raids were carried out, also in the ra in the places where these arrests were carried out. Most of them were detained in Northern Westphalia. And Germany's most populist state. So they will continue looking into that to see if others were also involved in this telegram group trying to get donations from Germany, from people here in Germany to IS in Syria. PW's Benjamin Alvarez Gruber, thank you so much for that update.